Hello everyone, how's it going? It is me Jack here and welcome to episode number 11 of the FM 2020 save here with Charlton Athletic. In this episode we are going to be facing top of the league, Ipswich Town at home at the Valley. It's been a while since, uh, well not in terms of when you've seen it, but I've played quite a lot of games off camera the last game was away against Fleetwood Town and we've played quite a number of games off camera since then um we'll have a quick look at the fixtures that have taken place from that uh, defeat away against Fleetwood Town we unfortunately drew we didn't draw we lost by three goals to two away from home against Shrewsbury disappointing performance here and this was the start of a bit of a run of uh, defeats in the league picking up no victories here, another disappointing performance away against Wimbledon. Another side looking to try and sneak into the playoffs. Goals by Ryan Cassidy and Kala Kalambayi in the 94th minute. Very late on, them two goals meant that they were able to win that game. We were victorious in the cup competitions, beating uh, Cambridge United 4 0 away from home. Goals by Samuel and Hugo. And a goal from Cameron McWilliams' own goal, should I say, from Northampton, meant that that game finishes a victory for us however in the league we continued on a bit of a rut to be honest with you Luton Town who we beat 6-1 earlier on in the season we drew 0-0 at home and a defeat away from home against Wickham Wanderers David Wheeler scoring meant that we were just on a very bad run of form however from the game after that we were able to pick up a decent run in the league was one more defeat in all competitions though uh, at home another late goal from them meant that they uh, were able to beat us 1-0 away from home Coventry uh, in the cup and then December was a very very good month for us this was going to be a pivotal month whether we'd see us try and try and catch back up towards the top or would we falter and maybe even drop out the playoffs however victories against Colchester United, Forest Green, MK Dons and Peterborough United meant that we were able to look back at this month very fondly. We did draw one on against Sunderland, a goal by Will Grigg. Uh, Ormond the scorer in, in this game, the damage I already equalised. However, we did get Herbie Kane sent off, so it did leave us in the uh, lurch a little bit. However, it was a draw, and uh, it was a positive point that to take. Late goal here against MK Dons, though, we won. Uh, Eric Garcia in the 86th minute from uh, a free kick into the box, Meant that was a big, big win for us. A defeat actually came against Oxford United in this month. Which didn't really get going, to be honest with you, at the start. There were two quick goals by Alejandro rodriguez Gorin and Rob Dickey in the 22nd and 24th minute. Put them 2-0 up. Adama Traore making it 2-1. Allowing us to get back into the game. However, Elliot Moore made it 3-1. And that was how that game finished. However, at leasing.com, you can see we progressed very nicely into the third round. We're playing uh, Aston Villa under-23s in the third round, hitting the objective from the club vision. We were able to hammer Crawley Town, though, by four goals to one. Goals from Samuel Oshtuma, Oshalaja and Johnny Williams. A goal at the end there by Ashley. Nathaniel George meant that game finished 4-1. And then the last game, as I say, we beat Peterborough United by three goals. Now, a very, very convincing performance against them. Meaning that we fly third place in the league at the moment but it is very close as you can see we are level on point of Fleetwood Town we played the games in hand that we did have and it was during that run of where we weren't performing very well that we were unfortunately well didn't um, pick up many points and unfortunately we're not able to leapfrog Fleetwood Town I think Ipswich do look as if they're going to just run away with it. Gap the 13 points. We might be able to close that to 10 today. But if they win the game. You can almost just say that they're promoted I think. However. Fleetwood Town lying in P2. Just above us. A goal difference separates us. And I think you've got to look as well. Bristol City. Uh, Bristol City. Bristol Rovers. Hull City. Wickham Wanderers. Lincoln. Wimbledon. And even probably Sunderland. Still have a chance I think of top two. Because Fleetwood Town as well. Have also been losing games under Mick McCarthy. A 4-1 defeat. A draw there. MK Dons as recently was a defeat for them. So it is still going to be. Won and lost. Based on just how we can do. And I do think that there is going to be more defeats left in it for us this season. We are in January. And I am trying to do a bit of business. Um, sort of off camera 
looking at potential free agents. Axel Bakayoko is looking like uh, a player that we might bring in. I don't really use wingers, however, in the advanced forward position, it doesn't look too bad. And strike is a position that we don't have many um, contracted first team players. We've mainly got loan players apart from Dominic Samuel. Um, so potentially might bring him in. We'll have to see um, from that. As well as that piece of business, I need to show you as well. We extended the contract of Wittek. The interest has sort of died down now once we've got into January and it's definitely died off now because we've handed him a contract to the end of 2023. Uh, oh, it hasn't actually gone through yet, but it gets rid of these release clauses, which is excellent news. So hopefully um, that will all just blow over. And as well as that, Eric Garcia is going to be staying at the club for another season. It'll be his third season. However, still open to talk to us, Eric Garcia has got the wonder kid tag with him so i was maybe thinking that man city might want to lure him out to a bigger team however they're more than happy for us to keep hold of him which is excellent news because he has been a top top player for us um apart from that we've got a big injury to matt smith he's out he was out for three months with a broken foot he's still got another two months left um of his injury and i think and one more piece of business that we did was bonnet zoli uh, I've tried to bring him in, but he's wanting 20k a week. I've tried to maybe bring him in on a loan. However, we can't because his contract's expiring. And I don't think Sampdoria are looking to bring him uh, or sign him up for another season. You can see Jordan Hugo wanted by Middlesbrough as well, former team of his. Um, we handed other contracts as well, I believe. Naby Saar I've handed a contract to just because he's a decent squad player. Uh, same with Jake Foster Caskey, but he doesn't want to talk to me as he's a little bit unhappy with the game time at the moment. And I believe that's it. I do believe that is it. Uh, but we don't have really much money to play with, as you can see. Overall balance is looking a OK, and we've got about a million pounds, I want to say, in the transfer budget available to us. However, as I've always just stressed, it is just pivotal that we can get into the top two and get promoted this season. Um, because if I don't... I do think my job could be on the line and my contract might not be extended. I'm sitting on a C rating. However, the club vision, the board are disappointed that we've, well, we've been unable to be promoted by winning the league. However, it does say we expect the team's position to improve by only ending up gaining promotion, which I still think is a fantastic achievement this season. We failed the cup objectives, but as I say, a high, high priority was ensuring that we were gonna get promoted via either winning the league or by position two i wonder what happens or if we finish into the playoffs whether they'll even keep us on because it has it will be deemed a failure if we don't do that we will have to see though however without further ado i think i've showed you absolutely everything that we need to do let's go ahead into this game then against ipswich town the calendar uh, informs us that we have of course a leasing.com game but we are playing in amongst players on international duty However, however, because it's only two players going out, I think we will have to just play on without them two players. I don't know what players they are, but this is the team that we're going to go with. We're going to go quite strong against Ipswich. Uh, this will be the team Phillips in goal. A back four of Barbieri, Garcia, Magnani and Whittock. Harry Kane sitting in the holding role and Malin Forster Kasky will be the partnership. As I say, Forster Kasky, come to me wanting game time. We're giving him game time today. Johnny Williams will be in the camp position and the usual partnership up top will be Brewster and Bonazzoli. Bonazzoli, not really on form at the moment, as you can see, but neither is Jordan Hugill. So it's rather disappointing to see that both of them aren't really doing, doing much with us. But, you know, I was thinking, do I start Samuel? But it's a big game and I think it's a game in which, you know, Bonazzoli could do well for us today on the bench we have got Amos we've got Purrington Oshelaja Triore sits on the bench with Oshtuma and Hugo and Samuel ready to come on if needed up top but uh yeah without further ado let's go ahead to this game get three points would be huge could be a start of a, a bad run of form for Ipswich Town however you will just have to see how this game will go they're rocking with a 4-2-3-1 formation. James Norwood 
the starting striker for them, being on form, 10 goals this season. However, Brewster, 10 goals as well. Bonazzo, he's still done all right this season on nine goals, but I'd like to see a little bit more from him. But you've got to remember as well, if we lose Bonazzoli, we lose Brewster and Hugo, that's three strikers we're missing, and they will need to be replaced next season. Looking back at Ipswich's team though, some strong players in there, and you can see why they do sit first in the league. I'm going to tell the players just as they, before they go out here. Um, I think we just, do we just play down the match maybe? Just, no, let's just tell them go out there and carry on how you uh, did in the last match. Because it was a good performance against Peter United. Just what the Dr. R did. Um, and as I say, during that time where we were doing bad in terms of form, I was tinkering with the formation slightly, trying different tactics out. We've uh, restructured the five of the back formation that we were using in the championship adopting wing backs in uh, in that position but you know we'll move on today and we'll see just what we can do with this Ipswich Town will start the first highlight in the 22nd minute simple ball into the box finds downs however it goes out of play for a goal kick it's been a decent start from us but possession wise we haven't done a great deal with it nice to see that we are having a bit of a few chances and there is going to be a ball into the box now. Whittock, what can he do with it? Finds Herbie Kane, who can always dig one. We've seen it before. Mallon's on it. Mallon strikes it and he just goes wide to the post. Unfortunate there from the Scottish midfielder. I think, actually, I handed him a contract, I've got to say. Just reminded me now as I've seen his name there. He got handed a contract for an extra year, so that's not too bad. Alan Judge puts a ball into the box for Ipswich Town. Another corner just going wide to the target. Promising start by both teams. You could maybe say by the start tips, which have just come alive in the second half of the first period. But uh, I'm going to calmly say, well done. We aren't doing too badly. If we continue to work hard, we could win this game. This formation, actually, that I'm running isn't our normal one. I changed to a gig and press style just to try and dominate the game. And it is uh, it was seeming to work throughout December. This is what we were using. This is the other five at the back formation that we used in the championship, but I've stretched the, the wing backs, the full backs forward. And then this is the formation that you will have seen previously. But uh, I'm just going to tell the players to just to try and work the ball into the box because it's not what we're doing at the moment. Not going to make any changes. Let's just. I'm going to tell the defenders that I'll expect a lot more. I'm going to say that to them, and I'm just going to say I'm disappointed with the finishing on display by the strikers. Question their passion as well. Oh, come on, lads, can we get a goal? It'd be fantastic if we win this game. Keep an eye on eye out on Fleetwood as they're drawing nil nil away against Barnsley. Mallon whips the ball in the box. Magnani's there, and Magnani scores for Charlton. It's only his third of the season for the very tall centre back. Great free kick there. Great ball in the box from Mallon. And as you can see, Magnani rises, heads the ball comfortably into the back of the net. And we lead here at the Valley. Got to keep our focus, though. Something to get creative a little bit more now. Another highlight, though. Can we get another headed goal in? Stewart clears it. Herbie, Herbie Kane, rather, is going to pick the ball up. Finds a pass to Forster Casking. Herbie Kane. Oh, he's lost the ball. And one simple pass error means Caden Jackson's through. And oh, that is heartbreaking. Just one simple pass. A turn of pace from Caden Jackson. Ah, the game's gone all square. We're going to jump up to second in the league as well. I don't even want to watch that because that is just... That is just unbelievable. I don't really know what to do. Herbie Kane's not had a bad game. See if we can maybe bring on Traore, swap Mallon into the box-to-box -box role. 20 minutes to go. Strikers have just not done anything today. They just really have not done anything. Look at Bonazzoli, 6.3. Let's bring on Samuel. He can do well at the pressing forward role. He's natural in that position. So let's bring him on. Let's see what he can do for us. Demand some more from our players. I'd love a goal, lads. I really would. Maybe bring on Oz Toomer as well. Um, there's no way for me to keep Williams on, but let's just do a straight substitution at the cam roll. Nothing I would have changed in terms of tactics. Just keep it up, lads. 
keep it up, encourage them. Five minutes of added time. Is this game going to see out? Fleetwood are drawing as well, so it could have been an opportunity. But actually, they're losing. Bradford City have scored in the 88th minute. I'll take it if we can just hold on, boys. A one all draw. Oh, my goodness me. There's a highlight. Of course, we're going to get a late highlight as Whittock. He's not going to go for the long throw, I don't think. He's just wasting time. But a ball's in the box. Barbieri! Oh, Barbieri's got there. What a finish against Ipswich Town. Tommaso Barbieri, his first of the season for the young 17-year-old. He has been starting plenty of games for us this season. And he's come up trumps here. What a volley. What a finish from the youngster. And he could be about to see us three vital points in the race for promotion. 97th minute goals, full time. What a performance from the boys. I'm going to tell them assertively, a good win indeed. That's going to give us a lot of confidence. And that could be a big, big factor in this promotion battle. Very important, as I say, we need to do it this season. And Bradford City held on the team that lie 14th. Well, actually, they were... They'd have been 18th before that game. Absolutely fantastic. What a goal from this youngster, Tommaso Barbieri. He has turned 18 now, I do apologise. But you can see he's definitely come come good for us this season. He's growing and he's doing very well. He's only got a contract till next season, actually. I should probably, excuse me, take a look at that. But as you can see, started a number of games for us. And what a performance. Getting a goal hasn't been dreadful, but... As I say, he has done all right for us this season. Uh, Adam Matthews, we didn't play in that match because he is injured. He, he's a bit injury prone, Matthews. But arguably, he has had a better season than the youngster. But what? What a performance. What a turnaround. Winning that game. We've got a bit of a breathing space now. And it means we are 10 points behind Ipswich Town with, I think it's 17 games left to go. Could we do it? I'm not too sure whether we could win the league. But... We've got a confidence now about us that we can continue to pick up big, big performances. We're into January. Uh, might do a bit of business just to help us try and see us over the line. But it's just important now that we can try and continue this form on. If you've enjoyed that episode, I hope you have. Please do hit the like button, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not subscribed already. And we'll be back for episode number 12 of the Football Manager 2020 save with Charlton Athletic very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.